Hello, in this video I want to look at standing waves on a guitar string. Of course, when we pluck a guitar string, we form a standing wave on the string. And the frequency of that wave, which we hear as its pitch, is given by this equation. F equals 1 over lambda times the square root of t over mu. We'll first look at the 1 over lambda. So lambda is of course the wavelength. And as we decrease the wavelength, we increase the frequency, so we increase the pitch. So just playing open, which uh, vibrates the whole string, we get that uh, frequency, that pitch. If we play a shorter wavelength, so instead of playing the whole string, we're just playing from here to here, you get a greater uh, pitch, greater frequency. However, as you may be aware, this distance here is only half a wavelength. We've got a node here, a node here, and an anti-node in the middle. And that's the same when we do it open. We have a node here, a node over here, and an anti-node somewhere in the middle. And what we can actually do is add an extra node by just lightly holding my finger above the fret. And that creates what's called a harmonic. Now in this case, it's the same pitch. But if I do it, say, here, which normally you get that, doing it as a harmonic, gets us a much higher note. And that is because we are decreasing the wavelength, so we're increasing uh, the frequency. So the next thing we can look at is uh, the, the things inside the square root. And we'll start off by looking at the mu, and that is the mass per unit length. Now, one thing you might notice about a guitar is that the strings are different sizes. You see, it's on camera, it's quite hard to see this one down here. This one's very thick. This one's a little less thick, a little less thick, and so on down to this very thin one. And the thicker strings play a lower pitch. And that's because this mu term is greater. And because it's on the denominator, that means we're decreasing the frequency. Now, the next thing we can look at is this T term. And that is, of course, the tension. And the way we can change the tension is by adjusting these tuning pegs over here. So if I turn it this way, what we're doing is we're tightening the string. And that means when we pluck it, we get a greater pitch. I can turn it more and get greater and greater pitches. Or I can turn it the other way. Um, and that's going to give me lower pitches. So those are the different ways we can get different pitches on a guitar as seen by the F equals 1 over lambda times the square root of T over mu equation. Thank you.